To make it cosy, you're going to need a can, a soda can, and some yarn, and your hook that you need for your yarn. I'm using 8 ply yarn, so I need a 4mm crochet hook. You need to make your chain a little bit shorter than your can is, because don't forget your chain will shrink when you crochet into it. I've got 20 chains. Into your second chain from your hook, you're going to work one single crochet and in each chain across, you're going to do one single crochet. Just up to my last chain, so I'm going to put a single crochet into the last chain and chain one and turn our work. We're going to be working into the back loops only. And we've done our first, our chain one counts our first stitch, so we're going to be working into the back loops there's our front one and our back one's on our hook we're going to be just working into our back loops only this is the first time you've done this this may be a little bit fiddly at first but once you get used to it it'll become a lot easier so just working into our back loops only, making a single crochet in each stitch. We want to do this until the end of the row. I am at the end of the row and you need to work into the chain from the previous row. This can be a little tricky. and just work a single crochet into that last stitch going to chain one and turn our work and repeat, repeat the previous row working in our back loops only we are going to do one single crochet into each stitch and we want to repeat this on each row until our piece of crochet work becomes long enough to wrap around our can. As you go along you will start to notice that your piece is becoming ribbed. Now this as it gets larger will become quite stretchy. So it it would go a lot around a few different size items like a can or maybe it might even go around a coffee cup as well the ones that you get from the takeaways that don't have any handles and they're too hot to hold so this will become become quite stretchy I've finished crocheting my cozy and it's just one flat piece now get your can and wrap it around. You don't want the edges to meet because you want it to be quite snug when you put it on. So leave about a centimetre so that when you sew it together it will be snug. To join together we are going to slip stitch it. Put your two ends together, two short ends together This is where I finished off with my crocheting. I'm putting my ends together. We're going to slip stitch through both layers. I'm going to slip stitch. All the way across.
making sure we go through both layers and that you keep it even so that when you get to the end it matches. After you've finished slip stitching your cosy together <laughs> slip over the top and you have your can cosy. Cheers! <laughs>